So yeah, we hopped on Facebook Marketplace and uh, saw this Jeep for sale. Ended up uh, messaging him back and forth and uh, just talking a little bit about the Jeep because we were interested in it. Um, what we're looking at is an 07 black two-door. Uh, I'll show you guys here in a minute. Uh, you know, if everything works out, we'll get talking and everything like that. We'll be looking into it a little bit. We're, we're gonna see what we can do. See what we can make happen. All right, so we're gonna meet at the bank, so that way if we work out a deal, we can just run in there and uh, grab a cashier's check. YJK used in pretty good, got the windshield plate. Ended up having to paint like on the inside a little bit, looks really nice. And yeah, I mean, everything's really, really clean. Happy with it, uh, looks a lot better, obviously. <laughs> Don't have to drive around with the busted windshield anymore, so that's nice. Uh, everything's handling nice the way it should. It's a 2013. All right, guys, here it is. So it's a 2007 Jeep Wrangler X. Um, it's got 121,000 miles. Really, really cool and excited. Um, you know, I got it for a good deal because, you know, obviously cosmetics and stuff. We're gonna redo all that. Yeah, here it is, side by side. Um, definitely needs some paint work, no big deal. It's got the automatic. And I'll show you guys a little bit more later, but this is, uh, this is the process of getting it. We'll get it home here shortly soon. guys yeah so we are on the way back home taking her home went smoothly and we were all done pretty excited there's like a sahara spare on the back i don't know where that came from uh the drive shaft in the front is brand new it's like raw metal on it yeah, I have no idea what uh, brand the drive shaft is. It looks like an OEM, but like raw metal. Um, yeah, that this this black two door JK would make a great daily job. This thing has been sitting in the rain a little bit. You can hear the belt squeaking. <laughs> I'm letting it run, uh, you know, kind of warm up since it's been sitting all weekend. And uh, just got back from the trip. So uh, yeah, here's the white JKU. Give it a break for a little bit. We also got the TJ uh, warming up too. So crunk that up, letting that idle for a few minutes since we haven't crunked that probably in a couple of weeks. So what that is swap out the wheels and tires to this Sahara. Uh, stocks and um, yeah once we do that we're gonna swap off the grill take off the light bar they're a real good pressure wash clean the wheel wells real good get out all that that where all the build up was underneath the tail light 
I mean, you guys know, just the usual. Uh, I mean, it's got like a, a leveling kit, I guess. Like a two inch in the front and a one in the rear, something like that. I don't know. I'll have to measure the coil spacer, but maybe we can use that later. Um, this top is, makes a lot of noise too, so. You know, it just needs a good pressure wash. You guys can see up close. Obviously, we need paint work done, but the condition is so good. It's just covered in a layer of, you know, dirt and mud. Because, I mean, look at that carpet. Like, look how good of condition that is to be an 07. Like, I know once you actually detail it and deep clean it, it's going to be very good condition. Cracks and crevices, really, that's just all this Jeep really needs. And uh, that's a lot of work. It's gonna make a big difference, uh, you know, once we can fully detail it. And we still haven't even had time to fully detail this one yet. You know, we've just done the main surfaces of this one. So that was a good bit of pressure washing. So we pretty much, uh, Got the main layer of filth off, a lot of excess mud came out and just, you know, ran down the driveway. We got the old ones off. All right, spread the bugs off on the grill and the windshield on the white one and uh, about to put the last tire on. So you guys can see the frame cleaned up really well. You know, it's like no rust. Like this thing looks so low miles for an 07. But yeah, it still has the factory frame tag, which is really cool. I've never seen one put right there. I usually assume uh, kind of like in the back there behind the bumper. But hopefully we can try to buff that door right there. But getting all that up there repainted. So as you know what time it is. All right, there it is. And there it goes. Don't really know um, much about these. Full of water, I know that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they're, I guess they're LED. And it's just all kind of glued up in there. So uh, yeah, the connector's been modified. So for right now, we're gonna plug these back in and run these. Just want an OEM grill. We don't really want to mess with that uh, aftermarket grill stuff, so. but yeah here's a good look at the paint so as you can tell we're up yep all this area up on top and then windshield up there so no big deal just get it repainted and be done with it so sauce was a 2010 and it had like 170,000 miles this one's a 20 or this one is a 2007 so three years older and it's got 122,000 miles. You know, comparing this to sauce, I mean, sauce, you know, we could shine it up all day and clean it all like this, but just like the main surfaces were just worn down. I mean, they were just gashed up and scratched in the true condition underneath the layer of dirt. So that was why we went with this one. So, um, yeah, just sat out in the sun for a little bit too long. It's getting common on the 07. So once we refresh this, I don't have to worry about it again. It's like a brand new dry shaft. Got like some kind of old alarm or something that kind of chirps every time I turn the key off. To uh, get that hard top. So riding topless right now. It's not gonna have any windows in it. But that's all good because we're going to get them swapped out uh, i think next week but um yeah so this hard top is not going to have any damage i think uh, on the way back we're going to stop by our good friend brent's house and uh see what he's up to with the jeeps and uh and check it out what's going on and we'll show you guys a little bit what we see Insurance paid for a new one. The guy at the shop and on the body shop. Everything is on. 
on, we're good to go. Yeah, no more damage. Um, up there. Installation and safety instructions. No Wear gloves. Ensure the car is in park. Okay. Yes, I gotta get the duty and then do all the bolts and throw it in there. Listen it up. Looks like hyper green in this. Yeah, that's so clean. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're using uh, washers on uh, setting your bead up on the beadlock wheel. So, if you're having trouble working your bead around seating it, put a bolt through the washer. It'll hold it in place. That way you can work it around, save you some time. <laughs> 